All right, everyone, so I want to talk about the seasonal winter stuff right now for Don't Starve Together. Let's start with the winter food. There's the chocolate log cake. There's the plum pudding. There's the heavenly eggnog. There's the hot chocolate. And then there's the apple cider. Um, I'm not going to talk about the cookies and all that stuff because... I pretty much talked about that in the last video, but there's also like cookies and candy canes and I'm sure you pretty much found all the food by now. I'm pretty late on this one guys, so I'm sure you guys know all about this by now, but hey, I'm doing it anyways. And I also want to talk about the magnificent ornaments, which I think are pretty awesome. I just I just wish they kind of glowed a bit, because I love the flashing ones, this one's cool. But they still look dope. So this one you get from Berger. This one you get from Bee Queen. This I one, I'm sure you know you get from Dare Clops. Then you get this one from Moose Goose. And these two, you might be wondering, where did I get those from? You get this bell from the toad. And then you get this reef with the little jingle bells on it and the bell. You get that from the dragonfly. So that's pretty cool, you get an, kind of like a little extra reward for killing them, and another reason to kill them, like the winter food. You get these the same way as you get the other ones, just killing mobs, and they drop them. And there's also a ton of winter skins, a bunch of stuff you could just, I like this one. <laughs> you got the jingly top hat, and these are events, so this is just like how the Halloween one worked. You get these for the winter, and then they're gone. You got the gingerbread chest, don't be fooled, it's completely inedible. Sour. Then they get you got the plum pudding cap. The plum pudding hat contains no plums, just a bunch of raisins. Sour. And then there's also a bunch of like skins, for your, like new skins for pets and just stuff like that. Winter hat, a bunch of these little reefs. Some fast. Oh yeah, these two. There's the these two little clothings. I, I really like this one on Wigfred. Yeah. So use them while you can, guys. While they're while they're available. I also didn't mention in the last Don't Starve video that when using the tree planter to make your Christmas trees, you sleep underneath them using a tent, fur roll, straw roll, pretty much anything that makes you go to sleep. And sleep under them at night, Santa Claus will leave you some presents. So it's pretty cool, it's kinda OP. They have like 20 of them damn trees, he's gonna put a present underneath them. And look at all these presents I got. I was extra good this year. Let me know below what your favorite magnificent ornament was. I think mine is the Moose Goose one, because I think because it looks the goofiest. Yeah. See what I got. Damn, that raccoon hat. <laughs> Air freshener. Beefalo hat and a sugar cookie. Not bad. And also you can use the gift wrap to wrap up some gifts to give to your buddies. This one's for Glamour. Little pet, Glommy. Also be sure to check out the Starver's Carol if you haven't. That was a pretty awesome thing they did this update as well. I'll have a link in the description. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to upload some more Don't Starve soon. And I'll see you guys next time. Here drop charcoal, monster meat, stag antler, and then you use that antler to open the loot stash but for real this time.
Then his bag would shoot out a bunch of gifts.